inactivated or killed virus vaccines. There are several types of vaccines that can be used to fight diseases. The type of vaccines used can differ depending on the infection in question, how the immune system responds to the pathogen the vaccine will treat, and various practical considerations related to the delivery of the vaccine. What is an inactivated or killed virus vaccine? It is a vaccine consisting of virus particles, bacteria, and other pathogens that have been grown in culture and then killed to destroy disease-producing capacity. Or in other terms, pathogens for inactivated vaccines are grown under controlled conditions and are killed as a means to reduce ineffectivity and thus prevent infection from the vaccine. How is the virus killed? The virus is killed using heat, radiation, or chemical that could break up the shell and the viral genetic code. This destroys the pathogen's ability to replicate, but keeps it intact so the immune system can still recognize it. The pieces that remain are inactive, which means they can no longer cause disease but could still activate the body's immune system. Inactivated vaccines often refer to non-live vaccines. They are further classified depending on the method used to inactivate the pathogen. Full pathogen inactivated vaccines. These types of vaccines are produced when an entire pathogen is killed using heat, chemicals, or radiation. Whole virus vaccines use a weakened or attenuated or deactivated form of the pathogen that causes a disease to trigger protective immunity to it. Split virus vaccines. These vaccines are produced by using a detergent to disrupt the viral envelope. Split vaccines are influenza virus particles disrupted by diethyl ether or detergent treatment. While split vaccines still contain all viral proteins, the original viral particulate organization and viral ssRNA are mostly lost, losing some of the inherent immunogenicity of the virus. Toxoid vaccines these vaccines are created by inactivating toxins produced by bacteria. The toxoid mounts an immune response against the toxin. Examples of inactivated virus vaccines for poultry. Nobilis EDS. It is an inactivated vaccine for the immunization of chickens against egg drop syndrome 76. Nobilis RT plus IB multi plus G plus ND. It is a combined inactivated vaccine for the immunization against infectious bronchitis, infectious bursal disease, Newcastle disease, and rhinotrachitis in chickens. Nobilis Gomburro Inac, the first cloned inactivated Gomburro vaccine for breeders. It is an inactivated vaccine for the immunization of chickens against infectious bursal disease. Nobilis Newcavac. It is an inactivated vaccine for the immunization of chickens against Newcastle disease. Advantages and disadvantages of the inactivated or killed virus vaccines Advantages of the inactivated or killed virus vaccines First is that inactivated vaccines are considered more stable than live attenuated vaccines. Second, because the pathogen in the vaccine is dead, Inactivated vaccines have the advantage of being easily stored and shipped, which makes transport easier, especially in parts of the world where resources are limited. Third, it cannot divert to virulent form and cause disease, as it do not contain live components. And lastly, is it does not replicate and are not contraindicated for immunocompromised. On the other hand, these are the disadvantages of the inactivated or killed virus vaccines. So the vaccines has reduced ability to produce a robust immune response for long-lasting immunity when compared to live attenuated vaccines. Due to this, there is a need of booster shots to ensure ongoing protection. Second disadvantage is that the pathogens must be cultured and inactivated for the creation of killed whole organism vaccines.